boy. You got a serious problem. You ain't I no been trying to tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you always trying to tell me this thing. But this, this, this is serious. What we can do with this problem, huh? What? As a good Bahamian, we can do what we always do. We can kill him and eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Just eat him. Don't worry. Lionfish are not poisonous. Poisonous plants and animals are harmful when touched or eaten. Venomous animals deliver or inject toxins into their prey. The lionfish spines are venomous, but the meat is not poisonous, so it's safe to eat. Hunting them, you would think, could have an impact, and I, I base that only on how effective people are at hunting species down to really low levels when we decide we want to eat them. Who can go out and get them? I guess it's so dangerous to go down there and touch them and fool around there. Who's, who, who's going to go there and get them? Hey, 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 no more dangerous than nothing else. Ain't never been a documented death from a lionfish. Well, but let me tell you something. People, people around town now been saying they're killing you. Ain't killing nothing. Google it. But you know people like, I ain't no, no, there's all these lot of them fellas out there in the body no, no Google this, but. Size, man. They taste good. They taste good? They taste good. You eat them? I've eaten them. Boy, well you, you still here and everything, so I guess they, 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 they must be all right. They taste really good. It's kind of like a little bit like a hog snapper, a little bit like a, a mutton fish, half and half in between. It's good. Oh, well, let it rip. All right, let's go. Cool, go where? Let's go get some lionfish. Boy, this fella's serious. Are you, you really gonna let them get some lion fish? Yeah. I get it ain't, dangerous. Ain't dangerous. Once you do it right, I'll show you exactly what to do. Well, I tell you what, you go out there and show them how to do it and catch them, and I'll stay here and not eat. Fine. I'll go out, catch them, clean them, cook them, and you can eat them. Eat them? Eat them. I'm gonna go get them. All right. See what you can do. Come on, let's look at on the boat. Yeah, I am. Not eating. Not much to say. If you're really worried about getting stuck by the lionfish, wear gloves. And if you get stuck, make sure you have hot water on hand because it helps to neutralize the venom. The other thing that works is the hot water exhaust that comes out the back of your engine. But still, go to the clinic and make sure there's no chance of secondary infection. You don't want your finger falling off or anything like that. Gary, your little scrub. Look at this beautiful day out here and you're sitting at home in front of the TV. Got your spear, got your sling. It's just like spearing any other fish, except they're so slow and lazy, it's easier. Even more down. I'm from Spring City. I ain't going down there. One of the differences is, though, that you got to be a little bit more careful when the fish is on the spear and you get it in the boat handling it. Just because any other fish pokes you, it hurts. This one hurts bad. Three places to watch out for are the dorsal fin, the pelvic fin, which is these guys right here underneath up front, and the anal fin, the ones right at the back underneath. Also known as the bungee fins to you Bahamians. So all you gotta do is clean the fish without actually getting poked. You just take a pair of regular kitchen shears or a good pair of scissors and cut those off. And then just fillet it like you would a regular fish. It tastes kind of like snapper, some kind of snapper. The skin comes off real easy. And voila, one lionfish fillet. He filleted a fish pretty good. Not much left. I want how it tastes. They're so good that if we could end up putting them on the menu and making man the predator, we might have a shot at controlling them, at least locally. So lionfish good enough for restaurants? Hi, my name is Farrell Lam. I work at the Oakland Apple Lodge, and tonight, I'm gonna show you that any behemoth can cook lionfish. You can even serve it at a restaurant. And I'm gonna some flour and um, pan fry. I'm a 
guy in pretty three different ways. And if you're lazy, like some of us are, when you get the little ones, you can just plop right in a frying pan and it's done in no time. Hey, smell like Thomas cooking something. Hey, he can't cook. He can't cook at all. He cooked bad. So let me go see what he's what he doing. Well, let me tell you, the way you're doing it, I don't know who teach you how to cook. But I'm going to let you fry yours, then I can fry mine, and show you how you really fry fish. Okay, that's mine. Uh -huh. All the skin peeling off of y'all. Even if you want to get people to eat lion fish, you gotta cook it better. That's what we try to get me. people up. Catching, eat, eat these lion fish so they can stop eating the ball of our lobster and grouping. Kill them all our fish. All right, let me, let, let me show you. Let me show you how to do this now. All right, see mine? Mine season up. I get a little lemon. Really need lime. Salt, pepper. First time I can fry a lion fish. Put them in the flour. Give them a little, little bit of flour on them. Not a lot, a lot. Because they don't want too much stick to the pan. All right. Put mine in Leicester. It's about how much the tribe has gotta be good. Yeah, but everybody's a little skeptical of lions. You now people scare these lions. You know what toadfish are? Well, I Toad, don't... Toadfish been around the Bahamas since the time of your great grand, great dad daddy. They all know what they are. You don't step on them. The same kind of fish, same kind of poison. But, but you don't eat toadfish too. You could? Well, I don't, I scare the frogs, so I ain't eat toadfish. <laughs> <laughs> now, you too much better mind than yours. Look at that. I don't know though, man. <laughs> you want the tail? No, you can, you can keep you eat your tail. Crispy. Crisp it up good. You don't cook fish that bad. Well, yeah, man. I got things. bread right there. If you start to choke, I'll give it to you. Bread? <laughs> I ain't worried about the bread. Mine's it? gone. It's been, I mean, how hotter than oil does anything get? That's like the same thing as a volcano. Oil, hot oil, hot lava. You know, it's killed everything in there. What are you talking about, man? Eat that fish. <laughs> alright, alright. My first taste lionfish. Bahamian lionfish. But a lion from the Bahamas, but not as not okay. from the Bahamas. Well, whatever. It, I killed it in the Bahamas. Woo! Y'all ready? <laughs> alright. Don't poke yourself in the eye. Tastes good, in the bar. Yeah, you can see we like it. <laughs> there you have it. Lionfish are easy to catch and good to eat, but you do have to be careful when handling them. If there was a market for lionfish meat, we could create a serious industry that could rival even craw fishing. Look at all these lionfish, caught in just one day at the Grand Terrelke Lionfish Derby. Give me some background about this whole lionfish invasion, why we're even doing this. Great, but they don't belong here. We got 25 boats, there was four people on a team. Almost half the boats were Bahamian. Good luck, thank you for being here. The competition was from sunrise to four o'clock. It was amazing how many lionfish were caught in that short period of time. It was sun up till four o'clock, and when the fish started to come in, these heavy coolers were lifted onto the dock, and we'd open them up and they were full. And then I said, oh my gosh. Oh, it was. Of course, somebody did get stung. It still hurts, and then as it gets better, it comes in waves. It's like, oh, I'm better now. And then a few minutes later, I felt like I wanted to throw up. But it ain't life-threatening. Just a little painful. No big deal. After the fish had been counted, a team of volunteers went to work. After catching them, weighing them, counting them, cleaning them, and cooking them, there's only one thing left to do, and that's 
eat them. I think it's quite a fine fish. And if they can find a way to get rid of the trash fish by eating it, I think that's a good idea. We served at least three or four hundred fish. So a lot of people tried it, and I didn't hear of anyone not liking it. So, how many did everyone get? Well, two, two to three hundred, probably. That's what we're hoping. They would find out at that evening's presentation. We had 25 boats and 1,408 fish. The winning boat was a local Bahamian boat, 289 fish. Events like this are a great way to jumpstart the one thing that could control the lionfish in the Bahamas, human appetites. <laughs> now that Thomas and Farrell and Bobby have done their part to spread the word about lionfish, it's my turn now. I'm gonna cook some lionfish out here, down in the park in Hooktown. We're gonna cook it for Bahamians and tourists to try it. Check it out, looks good. All right, I'm gonna put some more lime in here. Get this right. Put the first piece in. All right. Cooking good. Perfect. Everybody, when you're going to the boat tomorrow, we'll catch some lionfish. What do you think? What do you think? So I don't feel man. There you go. I'll try a piece. All right, let's see. The first lionfish. This is my very first piece. This is my first time trying lionfish and it's really good. Very good. It's so good. Oh, that's good fish. I think it's as good as it gets. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's delicious. Lionfish is delicious. What? It is good. It tastes good. I like it. I like it. Eat as many as you can. It's horrible. No, I'm kidding. It's really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. I love it. It's very similar to grouper. Light, flaky. It's great. It tastes like grouper. It tastes better than grouper. It's a little bit sweet. It tastes a lot like some very white fish I've had up north. Like fish, kind of. <laughs> tastes like fried fish. Just as good as fried chicken. Finger licking good. I don't even like fish, but those swine fish is fantastic. I could eat a lot of it. <laughs> I want more. No. Just a little tiny more piece. <laughs> okay, is that it? Okay. Fish kind of. Pretty good texture and good flavor. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It was good. We tried it. We cooked it out here by the park. Everybody loved it. So go catch them, kill them, eat them. Let's just do the lionfish thing, man. Understand you do a mean mom. Oh, I say roll out the carpet, make with a song. Whenever Princess Margaret she come along, roll out the carpet, act your best, pay your homage to the great princess. Pay your homage to the great princess.